Hey, it's Rick with CMyBeach.com. We're here today in Homestead, Florida, starting full on location coverage of Homestead, which we've never done in the past. And we're gonna start off with a bang. This is Royal Palm Grill, uh, listed by Miami New Times in 2023 as the best diner. And I can tell you from experience, it is. So let's go inside, meet Frank the owner, and check the place out. Royal Palm Grill, Homestead, Florida. Good, how are you doing today? Good. Good. Hey, I'm with SeeMyBeach.com. My name is Rick, and we're just going to be doing a little video here. I don't know if Frank told you about it or not, but uh, yep. yep, yep. So, uh, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? Oh, good. Tell me a little bit about uh, your experience here with the Royal Palm. We'll start off with you, Megan. I've been here, uh, June will be 10 years that I've been here, so. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. It's actually the only, uh, I've, I've had another side job, but this is my main job that I've had for 10 years. You don't look I, old enough to have any job for 10 years. <laughs> I great. started at 15. Really? Yep. Wow, that's yep. fantastic. I did. So, so you're, you're just a lifer here, huh? Yep. You'll be here for a long time. Yep. Yep. That's awesome. I wouldn't go anywhere else. Tell me what you what you most like about working here. Um, we're one big family in here, really. It's just, I mean, I I, I wouldn't be here if it weren't for them. Um, yeah. They're actually my only friends here. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm here I'm now, here so I'm one them. of your buds. Yes. yes okay. Yep. I'm part of the family now. <laughs> <Yep>. Awesome. Well, <laughs> well, thank you, Megan. I appreciate it, and uh, I'll talk to you later. We're gonna go around and get some video, and maybe get some video of Frank back there, oh, good. Where, where he's standing. Doing what he does he's, best. he's standing where he's same same time I saw him ten years ago. Yep. <laughs> same spot. You know, he doesn't move from he there. He does doesn't move. All right. Well, that's why the food's so consistent. Yep. Yep. All right, Megan. Well, thanks thank for being part you. of the video. You take care. Yep. Bye bye. All right, so still at Royal Palm Diner. Let's go talk to some real people here. Y'all are real people, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's your name, sir? Alan. How you doing, Alan? Great. Excellent. What's your name, ma'am? Sonia. Hey, Sonia. How are you doing today? Great. Good. Well, we're, we're, I'm with SeeMyBeach.com, and we are now covering Homestead as a regular thing on our website. So they say you come here fairly often. So tell me what you like about Royal Palm Diner. Oh, I love the atmosphere. The employees are great, and the food is always fantastic. This stuff's off the chart, isn't it? All the time. All the time. It's always a hit. Yeah, what did you get today? Had a bad meal. I, I, that's what I hear all the today time. I had a New York shrimp with uh, with some uh, mushrooms and gravy on it. It was great. Awesome. And so, what was your name? Sonia. Hey, Sonia. Um, so, tell me about. Um, I'll ask you that five times because I can't ever remember names. <laughs> anyway, Sonia, what'd you have today? I had a chef salad. How was it? It's fresh. It tasty, very good. And, and you like coming here a lot? I love the, the people here. Yeah, the employees are really nice, except for Megan. Nice. Except for Megan, she's hard to deal with. But no, no, I'm kidding. She's adorable. She's she had to get on camera. She was she gave me a hard time. Huh? I'm sorry, Brandy. Brandy, I haven't met her. She's not here today. Uh, and also, Billy is very helpful and funny. Nice, nice. Well, I'll I'll be getting to know all of them because we're going to be doing on location coverage here. So I'll be here fairly often, especially when they get the Jamaican side going with the reggae oh, music. Yeah. I'm all about that. I'm ready for that. I can't wait, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to come help them with the construction, man. I'm going to come put some jeans on and a little tool belt, try to get it done. I'm ready to get that going. <laughs> well, guys, thank you so much for being part of our video. Check us out on CMyBeach.com. Uh, exactly. Frank's, Frank's the man, man. So he's, he's been a supporter of ours for many years. And just what you don't know is when people buy ads with See My Beach, 70% of the money stays in your community doing positive things. And people like Frank, that's what he cared about when he bought from us. So he supported us for many years. So, so you're giving money to the right kind of people when you give them to our people. So you guys take care. We'll see you later right here from Royal Palm Grill. Take care. Peace. Yeah. Alright guys, now I'm back here with the man himself, Frank. How are you doing, Frank? I'm doing good. How are you? Good. You know, I haven't seen Frank in so many years because we've been doing other communities and I come back here and you're the same place in the same spot at, since I saw you ten years ago. Yeah, well, you know, working hard. That's yeah, you are. Well, and I heard you won New Times. I, I mentioned it outside New Times Diner uh, of, of 2023. Yeah, that was a good accomplishment. Really. It is. Times, well, I've eaten here a bunch of times, so, you know, it's well, well deserved. So what do you think, you know, because, I mean, everybody I talk to, whenever we talk about Royal Palm, it's always like best diner, best everything. You're always consistent. I've never heard a bad thing about you. So how do you keep that kind of consistency up? Uh, just hard work and dedication. You know, yeah. we, we're trying to expand also. Oh yeah? We are going to open for dinner soon. Okay. And we're going to introduce a Jamaican kitchen. Nice. So we're going to have a different cuisine. And we also cater for schools. You know, like okay. breakfast and lunch for the schools. Oh really? Okay. So we do a lot of different things right now. Nice. 
Well, I'm looking forward to the Jamaican because I love everything Jamaican. Yes. Reggae music's my favorite. Oh, yeah. We're going to have um, the nighttime entertainment on the weekends. Oh, wow. We're going to have the reggae band and stuff like that. We're going to do a lot of different things. As soon as we finish the other side. So okay. We'll show you the other side and we'll build a new kitchen, a new dining, a new uh, Jamaican restaurant. It's all going to be all good. That's fantastic. Well, I look forward to it. You know who's going to be in the middle of it, right? Me. Yeah. <laughs> enjoying the music, enjoying the food, everything. Well, thanks, Frank. Nice talking to you. Thank you for being a part of what we do because Frank support has supported us for many years and we were able to do positive things in your community through people like you. So thank you for that. Oh, you're welcome. All right, my friend. Take care. All right. I'm going to grab some grub before I leave, though. You know that? Take care, Frank. All right, now I'm here with Allie. How you doing, Allie? Hey, how are you? Good. I, your name's come up a couple of times with people talking about people they like here at the diner. Oh, thanks. Exactly. So you're always smiling and everything like that. So what do you like working about about working here? Um, I like the family atmosphere. I like that we have regulars. Um, I feel like the owners really care about us as employees and as people. Right. Very flexible with us. Um, it's a it's a really just a really good warming atmosphere and of course the food is delicious. I was a customer here before I ever started working here. Yeah, exactly. So. But I'll tell you what, everybody talks about the consistency because it's always good and it's always fantastic always, here. Yeah. Well I appreciate you being part of our video and I will oh, talk to you later, you so Ali. You'll be seeing me around a lot because we got the reggae place coming. Yes. I'm soon, all about soon. it, man. I'm We're looking excited. forward to it. We're Take care, we'll talk to you later. Thank you. Bye bye. All right, guys. Now I'm here with James. What's up, James? What's up, man? How you Hi, doing? brother. Tell me a little bit about what you uh, what you like about the Royal Palm Grill. I like coming here every day. It's a solid place to grab a bite to eat. I get to work on some of my design works that I get to do for the last ten years. Um, all the girls know me. They're my friends. I went to school with some of them. Nice. It's just a really cool place to come and just get some food and work and you know, just see the locals at home. They've yeah. I'm here 15 years, so this is my spot. Everybody talks about it being family, man. We love that about this place. Yeah. What, what do you what, what, what kind of food do you normally get when you come here? What's, what's your favorite? Getting the same thing for the last 15 what? years, and I just switched up in the last year. I used to get the royal about 15 years straight, and I just switched up to the country breakfast for the last like six months. You want to tell anybody? You're cheating on it, you on yourself there, huh? Only, only on me, only on me. I'm not cheating <laughs> on anybody else. Here. Right, so, well, tell me, tell me a little about what you do. You say you uh, you work while you're here. So, what do you do? For sure. Uh, so, I actually just quit my corporate job about a month ago to pursue freelance. Design Congratulations, man! I always love to hear that. This is here in Homestead. Okay. Oh, you guys want to see? Here we go, James. Oh, look, oh, we well, got a well, fresh well. food delivery here. Do you like here. any hot sauce or anything? <laughs> no, not today. Awesome. I'll bring more coffee right now. For sure. Oops. Gotcha. Look at that. I kind of went with a breakfast wrap today. I was feeling a little, little super different. You guys caught me on a really different day. But yeah, so I get to come here and do, get to work on all my projects and everything. Right. Like that. Somebody wanted to find you on your social. What, what, how would they find you? Uh, you're going to look up JN Creative. That's J N K R E A T I V E. All right. We respect anybody who's trying to do things on their own. So look this guy up and, and do some stuff with him. For sure. For Take sure. care, James. Nice meeting you. Nice talking to you. Take care. Handshake of the 21st century. See you next time, buddy. Later. Okay, guys, now I'm here with Angelica. How are you doing, Angelica? I'm doing well, thank you. Excellent. We're back here where the, the Jamaican restaurant is going to be, and that's what I can't wait for. Yes, everybody's so excited. Everybody's asking questions, trying to get everybody uh, ready for the new opening. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Tell me a little bit about yourself and how you like working at the Roll Upon Grill. Well, I've been here for about 18 years, um, one of the owners. Wow. And, um, you know, we're just a, a close knit family. You know, everybody knows everybody here, and it's just, it's great times. Gotcha. So you're Frank's daughter? Yes. He's never mentioned you. I'm kidding. <laughs> he has. I'm thinking on you. Yeah. Anyway, so anyway, it's nice because I don't think we've ever met. Have we met? No, we haven't. Okay, gotcha. Well, super nice meeting you. And uh, uh, everybody's talking about how it's family here. Yes. And you really are family. Yes. But everybody exactly. feels like they're part of your family. Yep. So that's we try amazing. To make everybody welcome. Everybody feel welcome. Everybody. Yeah. But the employees don't always feel that. And they've all expressed that here. So I appreciate it. And nice talking to you, Thank Angelica. You so much. And you know, through, through the support of your dad, because when he buys ads from us, we take 70% of that money and do positive things in your community. Awesome. It's amazing. Perfect. So, it's amazing people say no to that, but sometimes they do. It's shocking. Right. But your dad loved that part about what we do. Yep. Anyway, you take care, Angelica, Thank and you. I'll be seeing you for a long time. Yes, I'll be here. You'll be here. I'll All right. Well, here. you take care. We'll talk to you later. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. All right. Now I'm back here with what's your name? Thomasina. Thomasina. That's a big name. Yes. Yeah. So how are you doing today? I'm awesome. Always good. Awesome. Well, we're interviewing people, and we're back here with the Jamaican restaurant's going to be. So tell me a little bit about what you do here. Well, basically, I'm here to prepare food for the students that we have. We have about six schools okay. to prepare uh, breakfast and lunch for. Uh, also, do a little bit of everything around here. So. Gotcha. You like me? I do part of everything. Of there you go. That's the best way to be. Well, thank you for being part of our interview. Awesome. Thank you, you keep for keep making that good, good, cool food. Thank you. All right. Take care. All right. You too. See you. Bye. Bye. All right. Now I'm with Brian. So what's up, Brian? All right. Uh, 
Not much, just, uh, you know, uh, I kind of manage the uh, school program and uh, do a lot of the ordering here. And, uh, That's nice. Just to keep a general eye on things. Gotcha, gotcha. So you're the man who keeps everything rolling the right way, huh? Try to. I hear you, man. I, I met Thomasina. It's probably a challenge with her, right? I uh, know she's actually <laughs> she's, the she, She's right here, yeah. so I'm just, just messing with her. How you doing, Thomasina? Anyway, all right, well, brother, well, thank you for getting on camera to tell us a little bit about what you do. And we'll... we'll What's up? Uh, thanks for telling tell everybody what you do, okay? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. All right, brother. We'll talk to you later, okay? All right. We're still back in the area where they're going to do the Jamaican restaurant. I met this guy. What's your name, sir? Antonio. How you doing, Antonio? Pretty good. So what do you do here? Deliver food to the schools. Okay. How many schools do you do? You do six schools, do, right? Yeah, I do two, and then Brian does the other ones local. Gotcha. I bet y'all stay busy with that, huh? Yes, sir. Awesome, man. Well, how do you like working at Royal Palm? Pretty good. Cool. I've been coming here since I was a kid. Nice. Everybody says that. It's crazy, man. This is this place is just beloved, man. So thank you for being part of our video. We'll see you tooling around, bringing stuff to the schools. We thank speak you. in schools and do things in schools in the Keys. Maybe we will hear, so I'll probably run into you there. Yeah. Take care, my friend. All right, guys. Bye, everybody. Thank Keep you. working that magic. Always. Keep that smile going. Awesome. All right? Thank you. Those, those kind of smiles make everybody's day. All right. You guys take care. We'll talk to you later. All right. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. All right. Now I'm here with Haley. How you doing, Haley? Good. How are you? Good, good. So tell me a little bit about yourself and uh, you know, just a little briefing about what makes Haley tick and how you like working here. So I've been here for about four years now, but I started here when I was actually 17. Okay. And I was here for about three, four years, and I went over to the hospital, and unfortunately COVID kind of, uh, I had to leave, I was pregnant, so I left and brought me back here, and I've been here because it's the conveniency, it's the people, the family business, and it's nice for me and my son. I can gotcha. take him to school, pick him up. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, you look 17 now. What are you talking about? 17 and son and all that stuff. What you're holding up? Well, how old are you? I'm 30. So you can ask people when they look like you how old you are, and it's not offensive. No, not at all. <laughs> well, thank, I'm used to getting carded. I bet. Well, yeah. thank you for being part of our video, and we're going to be doing a lot of coverage here, okay. especially when the Jamaican restaurant opens, because I'm all I, about you the reggae. Back when we're actually finished with all of our. I am. I'm, we're doing homestead on location now, so we'll be doing videos of parks and we do kid-friendly things and all that kind of. How old's your son? Amazing. Four. He's a little young for what we do, but we do. Uh, all kinds of uh, kid-friendly things because when people go on vacation, they want to know where they can bring their kids and where they can bring their dogs. Of course. So dogs are big for us and kids. So well, anyway, I'm actually really big into dog rescuing. That's oh, you really? What I do on the side. I right now I'm working towards getting my nonprofit, but okay. um, I've been rescuing dogs since I was about four years old. Me and my best friend. So awesome. I mean, we've brought home like 13 dogs at a time. Oh, so wow. We're very small, but we're really working towards that and like spreading awareness towards like spay and neuter and breeding and all of that. Well, well, well we need to do a video about that sometime. Okay. because we're way into the whole spay and neuter. Oh, no. I, I, I say the same thing about children, I'm kidding, but, but about dogs, I say you don't buy any dogs until all the dogs who are here have homes. So oh, I'm very much happens. against not adopting animals, yeah. you know. So I'm glad you have that side of your life, so we appreciate it. And we'll talk to you later, and uh, we also have a nonprofit of Pepper in here called helpendallitter.org, okay. the acronym for HEAL, and it teaches school-aged kids to begin a life of cleaning litter. And part of our mission, part of our mission is to give grabbers with magnetic tips that picks up things you can't see to anybody who wants one. If, as long as they say they'll clean litter, we'll give them a grabber. Oh, I want one. I, I got one in my car. I'll bring it in here, man. All right. Well, thank you, and we'll talk to you later. Awesome. Bye bye. Have a good day. If you're into the kid stuff, you check out the Cyberium. What? Oh, I did go by there. It's so cool. It's amazing. It's really fun. Since, I take my son all the time. Yeah, since I was here before, I was. I'm just shocked at the things that y'all have here it's, in Homestead. It's it, growing. Yeah. Whenever they first Backwards. told me that I should cover Homestead, I'm like, I, I don't even like the name. <laughs> I'm not gonna. You know, you don't think of Homestead when you think great yeah. vacation destination. But we're gonna market you guys as a destination because Perfect. you have the things here that are fantastic. Oh, we have that old school diner that everybody wants. You do. I mean, it's that's everybody comes here traveling. I had someone today that they've been coming here since they've been married for 30 years. They said they've been coming here ever since. Right. And they're from they said Bird Road. They come down here just for breakfast, and when they're going to the Keys, they stop here before they even get there. Yeah. They took breakfast to go for tomorrow. I've, I've actually we do the Keys. We're big in the Keys. Okay. And I've actually had people mention coming by here yeah, on their way. and I'm like yeah well I, I know Frank from over there and everything yeah. we're like buds yeah. we're like that <laughs> he is anyway we'll talk to you later Haley right. thank you so much thank we'll you. be doing more stuff yeah. together bye, -bye. Okay.